Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine. I got a lot of stuff going on y'all. Like um, I am actually doing a monk mode. So if you wanna know more about that, let me know. I can tell y'all like all my requirements and stuff like that. But I'm doing a monk mode because I need to get more focused and I need to get on this. I've been going through so much within this past time that I've been gone and I've really allowed it to just kinda take over me. But we're not doing that anymore. Anyway, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a story time on how I found out I was pregnant with my little bundle of joy, aka the baddest baby in the universe. Let's just get right into it. So starting off, let me give y'all a little bit of background information. In 2020, you know, everything had uh, closed down and stuff like that, like 2020, March 2020 was when the world shut down. It went crazy, you know? Um, college closed the dorms, so I came back to live with my parents. And as any college student would, I wanted to go back to college. I wanted to go back to school. I was tired of being in the house with my parents. Like, for those who know me or may not know me, my mother is very paranoid. So when it came to COVID, it was the worst thing in the world. Like it was the worst thing in the world. So the her fear level was on a thousand percent. We weren't going anywhere. We weren't seeing anyone. We weren't doing anything. That was hard for me because my man, we was at college together. So I was like, huh, I wanna see my man. I wanna go back to college. Like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And it was hard because I couldn't. So what I decided to do was to get a job and move out. So this was around September of 2020. Um, in September, I got a job. It's the worst job I ever had to this day, but it paid good money. It was the worst job I ever had. And if you want a story time on that, I'll give you that too, because I don't work for them no more. But it was the worst job ever. Me and my man got the same job. And so we was working this job and we ended up moving out into our own place in November of 2020, like right before Thanksgiving, like right, right before Thanksgiving. We were so happy, ecstatic, ecstatic to finally move out. And then we was moving out together. Like we was, yeah, we was ready. As any parent would be, my mother was deeply concerned, deeply, 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 because she did not want me to for her main focus was college she wanted me to go back to school when everything opened back up because she thought that you know the 2021 school year was gonna come around everything was gonna be open back up and it wasn't so we was in our apartment like and i had told her i was like i'll commute like i don't know like i just don't i don't want to be here so i'm not gonna stay in the house all the way up until who knows when it'll open back up and also she was concerned because she thought that if I moved out, I would get pregnant. Or I would just start, you know, having kids and building this life and stuff like that. Which, I was 20 years old. I don't know why she was so, like, afraid of me. Even if I did move out and start a life, start a family and a life and stuff, I was able to completely provide for myself. He was able to completely provide for himself. And so us together was like, we, we were... <laughs> When I tell you that job paid good, the job paid good, but it was terrible. Anyway, we were good. We we were we we were pretty well off. We were pretty good. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna get pregnant. No. Okay. So, like I told y'all, keep keep up with the timeline here. Keep up with the timeline, girl. So I think it was November 20th of 2020. We moved into our place. We had Thanksgiving and Christmas came around. I hadn't had a period yet. I was like, okay, because we had a thing where me and him, because I, I don't want to put our business on blast like this. We felt like we had it in the bag. Like, we was like, we're good. Like, we're good. All the times we, we're good. So, <laughs> this is so weird. But we thought we was good because like, you know, and sometimes like, We'll get nervous because sometimes my period will be three days late or something like that. But it will always come like it always came. Uh, another little piece of background information. Before my pregnancy, 
I was not on birth control. We just gonna say that. So I had pretty irregular periods. Like it wasn't like a set regular thing like how my period is now. It would be like three, four days late and we wouldn't think nothing of it. Okay, so Christmas time comes around. I'm three days late we're not thinking nothing of it like we're just like okay you know it'll come it'll come you know it'll come you know it'll come then it got to five six days i was like huh okay <laughs> but that's when i started to get nervous i started to panic i started to cry and i know you're probably thinking girl you thought you was grown so you went out there and god showed you what grown is like and yes he did he showed me exactly what grown is like exactly showed me i'm like I'm not going to say that I'm proud of all the things that I did, but I did them. So, you know, I can't take them back now and I love my baby. Five, six days went by and I still hadn't had a period, but I was kind of like cramping a little bit. So I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to have it. It's just a matter of time. Y'all, I was so freaking scared. So freaking scared because at this point I was scared to have a child. Like I was like, mm-mm. I don't want no kids no time soon. I thought I was going to die in childbirth. I didn't know how I would ever push out a child. Like, it was always the scariest thing in the world to me. So, I did not want to be pregnant because of that aspect. It wasn't as far as, oh, I don't know how we're going to afford this. I don't know how we're going to. It wasn't that. For me, the fear was like, how am I going to push out a baby? Like, that's something that I've always said in my entire life. Mm -mm, they're going to have to cut me open because I'm not going to push it out. But I did. I pushed it out pushed her out so many thoughts was running through my head like my mama's gonna be mad my daddy's gonna be mad everybody's gonna be mad all this stuff all this stuff all this stuff we're gonna have to do this we're gonna have to do this we're gonna have to do that like all our family's gonna be upset with us they're gonna be you know disappointed in us and stuff like that like this is why they didn't want us to move out like i was just like going going it was just going 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 on the night after Christmas so this was December 26th which is actually my grandma's birthday and my grandma actually passed in 2020 so I thought it was really crazy that this happened on her birthday I woke up at 4 something in the morning thought I had my period I went to the bathroom I peed nothing I go back to the bed and I'm crying like I'm crying like huffing and puffing crying and he's like what's wrong like what's wrong and I'm like I can't sleep I really I really think that I'm pregnant like I, I really think that this is it like I don't know what to do I'm just like bawling crying I'm shaking because I'm just so scared and I'm like I don't know what to do like what is this gonna do to my body like how is this going to affect me like what am I going to do and he's trying to assure me like we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work we're gonna work through it if you are pregnant and if you're not then you know your period's gonna come and usually your period does come so he was just trying to get me to not be worried about it and stuff, which I really appreciate. I couldn't sleep no more. He couldn't sleep no more. We was up. It was four or five something in the morning. Walmart don't open till six. Couldn't sleep, so we decided to get up and go to Walmart and get a pregnancy test. So we went to Walmart and we got first response, the little pink ones. And the whole time we were just talking about it. And we started actually talking about it in a positive way. Like we were like, it would be kind of, you know, cool having like a little person like that's us like it would be kind of cool like and then like we was talking about how like you know a boy a girl like we came up with her we had already came up with her name like a, a while before that but we was like yeah like you know it it would be cool it would be fun like we'll be able to get by like we'll be all right and stuff and so then like in the car we was talking about how like if i'm not pregnant like it's gonna be kind of disappointing now we just got excited and stuff for it so we was excited at this point we get back to the house y'all i'm shaking because i knew it was time to take that pregnancy test as soon as i get in the house he want me to go take it i want to go take it but i'm scared as hell and so i go and i pee on the stick i peed on the stick y'all and i set it down so in our apartment we had like so you walk into our room and you walk that way and it was like the bathroom and then it had like the sink over there and then like it's kind of open to like i mean there's a door to like the bathroom part with the shower but there's no door by the sink so i set it down on a sink over there and i walked over to the bed and i sat on the bed and i was so scared like i was so scared i was sitting there we was talking about how scary we was stuff like that okay so some minutes passed by i walk over to the sink <laughs> i said like i'm getting the 
Okay, I walk over to the sink, y'all. I'm scared to even look at the pregnancy test. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, you know how you stand about something, but you like, I'm not gonna look at it. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm holding it. I, I can't look at this. I can't look, I can't look. And so I'm like covering my head like, oh my God, I can't look, I can't look, I can't look. And he was like, just look at it, just look at it. Yeah, tell me why I looked at it. It said positive or it said pregnant or whatever the hell it said. That's what it said. When I tell you my mouth dropped to the floor, I was just like, what are we going to do? Like, I mean, even though we had just talked about what we was going to do, but I was like, oh my God, no way. No way this is real. I thought I couldn't get pregnant. I thought, so I don't know why, you know, I used to like read up on stuff and like really kind of know stuff about you know childbirth and stuff like that and you, i used to think that i was one of the people that i would be one of the people who couldn't get pregnant or who would have like a hard time trying to get pregnant and stuff and i was like how the hell am i pregnant yeah he we went to be sure even though that first that first one was clear and positive i peed all on this stick and it was clear and positive honey but you know you all that adrenaline make you have to pee again so i had to pee again i went and i peed and the second one came positive too. And I was like, okay, okay, this is real. <sighs> it was scary, I, to say the least, it was scary. I mean, I could tell y'all how we told our parents, but that would be a different a different video. But yeah, um, pretty much after that, we just kind of worked through it. it. The pregnancy wasn't like that hard like i didn't have a harsh pregnancy i didn't like being pregnant i'm not gonna lie to you wasn't fun it wasn't pleasant for me don't want to do it anytime soon again and that is why i'm on birth control anywho yeah that's how we found out that i was pregnant with baby lay and i love her so much i don't have any regrets about it let me know if there's any other story times or anything like that that y'all want to hear i could tell y'all stories about my labor i could tell you stories about you know i could tell you about how my pregnancy was um whatever you want i don't think i had the typical pregnancy but i could tell you about the pregnancy i could tell you about the labor whatever you want to hear girl i got a lot of stories just let me know but all right you guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video